today is Wednesday, so that means it's time for Top 5 Wednesday, and this is my first one in July, even though there was one last week because I was just extremely busy and I couldn't come up with a good enough Top 5 list. So the topic for this Wednesday is books that you wish had sequels, and it can be either a standalone that you wish had more or a series that you wish had kept going. So let's get into my top five. Coming in at number five is the obvious choice and that's Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. And I think most people will agree if you're into Harry Potter that it, there's always, always room for more books. There could be a Marauder spin-off series. There could be a Harry Potter's children's generation. I mean, we're getting the cursed child at the end of this month and I'm really excited for that, but there's just so much that can go with this series that I just I just wish wish there was more. You can never have too much Harry Potter. I'm going to stop myself. Ugh. So, coming in at number 4 is The Giver by Lois Lowry. And this is it's a really good book. I would totally recommend it if you haven't you know, the movie just came out like a year or two ago, and it's um, it's a good book, but I really had issues with the way it ended. It was kind of open-ended to where you can kind of imagine whatever um, you want happening, and that really bothered me. Like, I felt like I didn't get any real closure with the book. It just kind of stopped. Mid it was like mid-scene, just kind of, that was it. And I just wish that... Um, I could have gotten a little bit more from the author on that book. So coming in at number three is This Is Where It Ends by Marie Nijkamp. I'm so sorry I just butchered that name. But um, this book obviously works as a standalone, but if you don't know what this is about, it's about a school shooting and it's told from a bunch of different perspectives of people that are involved. And um, I really like this book. It made me cry a lot. Um, but I feel like at the point where it ends, you know, it's like right after everything's finished. It's like the day after or the night after. But um, I feel like there could be another book to see, show how all the survivors are doing and how they've reacted emotionally and with everything that they went through and how people are react reacting physically I mean if they got shot are they how are they doing I mean like you know and I just feel like we could even though it works as a standalone I feel like it would be nice to just see how everybody's doing because not everybody's gonna handle that well that's just a really really crazy crazy thing so yeah so coming in at number two is The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton and this is obviously another standalone book that I'm just greedy and want more from. Um, this is one of my favorite books and I just think that it would be amazing to have just a little follow up, even if it's just like a novella or whatever, to just see how everybody in The Outsiders group is doing after, you know, it ended. I want to see how Ponyboy is doing, I want to see how Soda is doing, I want to see how everybody how everybody's getting along you know if any anybody actually got out of their neighborhood I mean if, I would hope Tony would but you know just see how everybody's doing maybe a couple years down the line is when that would take place I just I don't know I don't, I don't know I just I love this and I would I need some more pony boy and soda so yeah so coming in at number one is They All Fall Down by Roxanne St. Clair. And it's hard to tell you um, why this deserves a sequel without giving away anything about the book, but um, it kind of follows. There's this list that comes out every year that is like the top, I think it's the top 10 um, hottest people in the school. And one of the girls on the list dies and it's an accident, but as more of them die in accidents, there's one girl that thinks it's not an accident. So it just kind of follows that. And the way that it ends, it kind of sets up to where there could be like a whole series spinning off, like an entire series of books. And I was really, really hoping that when I finished this, there was gonna be some in the works and I accidentally 
accidentally. Actually, I contacted the author and asked her if there was going to be any more books in this series, and she replied with no. She wishes, but her publishers won't stand behind it. They don't support her writing another book with, you know, along these same lines, which is very unfortunate because I feel like it would do well. I feel like that would be a very good book. I would buy it. So, Roxanne St. Clair's publishers, make more books. Uh, make more of those, of the They All Fall Down books because I need them. So, yeah. As always, I will be leaving the links to the Goodreads group and everybody's pages and every all that good stuff down below if you want to check that out. And that's it. Those are my five books that I wish had sequels. Let me know if you have any books that you wish had sequels. Let me know them in the comments. Anyways, if you like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you have it, and let me know what you think. And until the next video, bye guys. Carl Stein is one of my favorite authors, and I'm not talking Goosebumps books.